So I know a lot of people in the last video were like, don't go back and flash back and you know, like only do video stuff. I'm flashing back again. Actually for like the next probably two or three videos or so, I'm going back to like last August. And the reason why is because I kind of want to share the story of Yuri with you, but I mostly want to share it with myself. Like I've been waiting to edit these videos. I know Michael with Blue Lake Overland has been waiting for me to edit these videos. I love Yuri. It's one of my favorite places ever. And it actually feels a little cliche <laughs> to say that, but um, I love Yuri. What are you doing? Taping. <laughs> Since I've been going into the office every day, my office has kind of turned into a little bit of a storage area. So uh, we're just doing some returns too while I'm editing this pretty quick video actually. It's gonna be short because I was intentionally like trying to just enjoy being there and not filming all day long. It's always that balance, right? Ready. Another trick or dude that hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Noah. What? Me and you like. Yeah, kind of like that little dinosaur from uh, the land before time. His name was Petrie. Wait, really? I think so. Good morning, friends and family, and welcome to Ure, Colorado. I have been wanting to come back here since last year. Geez, we came in July. Excuse me. Uh, on the way moving out to Utah and it was incredible and I came back in October which was really kind of like say hey Ben Ben was actually with us on the last URA trip but you know who wasn't was Noah he actually uh, really didn't want to come on the trip Noah, hopefully he uh, doesn't regret coming to the camera. this trail is extremely active already this morning it's about 8:30. the date is Thursday August 22nd, and I think it's probably one of the best times to be here. Black Bear Pass actually just opened this week, and then it closed yesterday because there was a rollover, a fifth gen forerunner, no less. I was talking to Michael with Blue Lake Overland last night. We're actually planning on attempting maybe a portion of Black Bear today. It might not be till tomorrow. Is it today? No, it's tomorrow. Today, our goal is to do the Alpine Loop, which is comprised of, we're gonna go around, what are we, we're taking the, we're taking the Southern route, and coming around the north, so it's either, I think it's Engineer Pass is on the southern side and we're coming around and gonna come back on Cinnamon. But that's what we're doing. And I'm, I'm just beyond excited to be here. It's, look at it. We haven't even seen the awesome stuff yet. We're about 10,000 feet. And I mean, do you see this? Look at this. Just a wall of snow. And it's just dripping. I mean, it's no some secret that, you know, this whole area and everywhere else, just including where we're at in Utah, got a ton of snow this past winter. And, you know, as of today, you know, Black Bear Pass, Black Bear Pass has only been open a couple of days. We're going up uh, Corkscrew Gulch, is that what it's called? And then we're gonna come across California Gulch and then make our way over to, <sighs> oh, why am I feeling? This is ridiculous. Okay, we're, we're going to the Alpine Loop. We were just talking about the altitude. It's too much. It's too much. You live up here. I do live up here. But, but not up here. Not up here. You're like three, 3,000 feet down. What are we at right now, like 11? Over 10, 10.5, 10, maybe close to 11. Yeah. Wow. Golly, I mean, just look at this.
Incredible. It's just so much. I've been out here for four years and there's, I mean, I'm just looking at trails right now that I've never even had the time to explore because there's just so many. And we're going, you said we're going up there. We're going that direction, yep. The next pass we're hitting is Hurricane Pass. And then we're gonna go over California and then we're gonna hit Animus Forks. And then we're gonna make some decisions at that point. All right. <laughs> So check this out. There's uh, we haven't talked much about this, but <clears throat> the gearing is awesome. I have 48 nitro gears, and it was kind of hard to tell how much I loved them until like putting in highway miles and like on the trail. Four low is like crazy. Watch this. Now, granted, this is not a real steep hill. However, you'll see you'll see the difference because I'll just let me show you. All right. Put it on the brake, got it in drive. With the trailer, four low, I definitely go back. With all the weight, four low previous gears, I'd go back, but not like a whole lot. Watch this. Look at that. Whee! No gas, just idle. Oh, watch this. uphill it's not quite like a rocket ship going downhill it's crazy anyway love it highly recommend it 488s on the highway is not noisy like everybody's saying i mean i could have other opinions on that that i've shared already in my gear video that you've already seen all right let's get back to it most amazing place ever. You're a, you're my favorite. Okay, so we're pretty behind schedule. I didn't think we were moving too slow, but we're moving pretty slow. And now we're going down here and we're gonna go up that trail to the left, you know, up, up there. We're just now getting to Engineer Pass. So we're kind of where Engineer Pass is and like, uh, Animus, Animus Fork or something. Oh, that's Michael. He knows. I don't know. Man, this thing's so heavy. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go up that way. We're actually gonna head back to URA. We're not gonna do Engineer Pass. We're not gonna do Cinnamon. Might do some of that on Saturday, but we just don't have time because um, I kind of did something stupid and I didn't, uh, I didn't bring any dinner because it seems like half time I'm on these trips, we end up like in town and I just don't need dinner. Bad idea, I should have brought something because like I was thinking we would just stay out here and we camp tonight, but I don't have any dinner so we can't do that. So it's okay. We're gonna go back because it actually works out. We're gonna go back into town, have dinner, early dinner and we'll make our way up to Black Bear Pass tonight and camp somewhere around there so that it's quick and easy to get to in the morning. And uh, then we're gonna do Black Bear tomorrow morning. And hopefully not die, because there was like literally a fifth gen forerunner that just rolled like two days ago. But you're not gonna see any of that in this video. Actually, this video's been long enough. Why don't I end this one and we'll start a new one here in a minute. Thanks for watching so much guys and make sure you subscribe if you're not. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share it with your friends and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, sure.